Right, uh, so our guide to Arnhem Land, what's it all about? Well, last year we spent six weeks up in East, East Arnhem Land and I created four different parts of our Arnhem Land series and it's well over four hours of footage and content uh, over four different parts, right? So what I've done, because we get a lot of questions and uh, <clears throat> feedback about that series and people want to go back and find out just the hot spots on where to go so they can plan their own trip up there. I've condensed those four apps, so over four hours of content, down into this hour and a half coming at you now. And I've called it our guide to Arnhem Land. So it's got all the valuable info in there on like how to get there, the road conditions, all the places to camp, uh, where to take your caravan, a few fishing and crabbing tips as well. Uh, but it's all the good stuff squeezed into one. So when you do go back and you want to plan your own trip to East Arnhem Land, this is the one you want to watch. And it, uh, it doesn't have all the other fluff in there. So the by fluff, I mean like a bit of family stuff, cooking stuff, um, just random things we get up to along the way. That's cut out of this one and it's just the guide, all right? So if you would have caught the one, I put out one a few weeks ago, I'll drop that here if you haven't seen it. That was our guide to Cape York. Uh, but I didn't really explain myself on why I've done this. Uh, it's because you guys don't see the back end of our questions and, and feedback that people want to go back and plan trips. Um, so they want to know all these hot tips uh, from the episodes and I have to like go back and flick them four different links if I had just have a guide series to different places and different tracks Boom, you can just go head to the guide check it out. So there you go. Yes, it is uh, our trip from last year uh, But it's condensed. It's a good watch. Cheers for your support Happy New Year's. Hey, today is New Year's Day. So anyway, cheers guys. Our guide to Arnhem Land coming at you Oh, yeah, and a um, little reminder for you. I was actually born in Arnhem Land. All right, so the start of this app is the start of part one. A little bit sentimental for me. A few old school photos in there of me growing up. So anyway, Arnhem Land. Hope you enjoy it. Ah. So, Arnhem Land. It's a place that we've wanted to visit for a long time. Since we started our travels, it's been on our list. Not only because of its culture, its history, its landscapes, its scenery, its fishing, the people. But it's also extra special for me because I was born there. My parents lived up there. My dad worked in the bauxite mine. And I lived there till I was nearly six years old. So a lot of my youngest and fondest memories are from growing up in Gove and Nullumboy. So it's been high on my list to get back here with the family and show my own kids where their dad grew up. I hope you enjoy this. This is Arnhem Land. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Now this one is going to be an absolute corker. You like that? Haven't used that <laughs> word yet. Spin around here and have a look at this sign, would ya? I don't know if you can read it, but what it says at the top is Central Arnhem Road, and we're going to Nullumboy. It's 700 kilometers from the turn off on the Stewart Highway all the way to East Arnhem Land. Now, we're going to show you what the road conditions are like, where we stay along the way, and what we get up to while we're in oh, Nullumboy. Oh, it's going to be so good. It is going to be so good, mate. I Something can't wait. new for us, so we're heat pumped. I'm so excited. I'll give you a little bit of random info. In 1982, there was Australia's best looking man born in Nullumboy. Who was that? Who was that? It was me. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually born up there. My old man worked in the bauxite mine. Mum worked in the bank, I think, and Woolies maybe. And um, I haven't been back there ever, and we left when I was five and yeah. a half years old. So there you go, I'm really excited cool to go that? back. I'm actually gonna drop in a few memento photos for you here. I'll get my mum to send me some of um, my times growing up yeah. in East Arnhem Land. How really? cool is that? I know, and now we're taking our kids back there where their dad was born, there so it's pretty nice. It is nice. So yeah. two weeks, two months, I don't know, we don't know. We're just gonna see what happens up this oh. Arnhem Road. There you go. I'm, guessing it's going to be a fair adventure. <laughs> we'll take you along for the ride. <laughs> well, well, here we go. We're hitting the road uh, for 675 kilometres. It is, to be exact, from the turn off. Now, um, one thing 
I do want to tell you that you need to do before you go to Arnhem Land and read the sign Menorah Store 196 it is to get to our campsite tonight uh, you need to get permits right so uh, pretty easy to do it does take a bit of time depending on the time of year I think but you jump on the Northern Land Council website or put the info in here below it doesn't cost you anything for a transit permit um, but um, once you get up there then you need to pay for your camping permits in different areas now I'll probably explain a bit more of this along the way too so you can take your off-road caravan up there there's limited options from my knowledge to stay at either the walkabout lodge or the go boat club which we will show you uh, but then you're not allowed to use your caravans off in the campground it's only tents and camper trailers only so we're going to take camping gear and go and explore as well but i'll leave some more info for later on for now it's two hours um i hope We'll show you the Minora store and anything else we can come up with along the way. Can you see Charlie in the background? Yeah, just. She's like literally catching flies. <laughs> she so needs that sleep, by the way. So, first day as a six year old, oh. and she is uh, knackered after a bit of a party last night. So, anyway, it's good for us because it's nice and quiet. What do you reckon it is, George? Uh, this is uh, an absolute paradise. <laughs> it's a little oasis. Who would have thought you'd drive in here and see all this amazing grass? And they've just done it all up here. So she was just saying, Kaz, the owner, that they've just put in like new ablutions. They're putting in a couple of family rooms. They've got this gorgeous little deck out there that overlooks the most beautiful waterhole. It's lovely. So good. Nothing more to say. No. All right, what do you reckon? Fire or not? Yeah, and there's heaps of shade here too. So if you're oh. coming on an unpowered site, perfect. How about it? Mm. All right, I'm going to plug the power in so the squeeze can have air con. Oh, it's just that way like I can sleep without hot. all the carry on tonight. Oh, stop then... it. I, <laughs> I'm not, we, excuse me, we did unpowered last night. So oh, I know. I'm not That's that why we're so tired because it was like, oh my God. It's not. No, nah, I'm just joking. But yeah, power. The kids are stuffed. It's 10 bucks. It was 30 bucks a night to stay in the unpowered, 40 bucks to get a powered site. So jump onto that. Beautiful. Yeah. Lovely. Good job, Kaz and Kev, I think. Her fella's name, did you say Kev? I can't remember. Kaz and Kev, I think. Anyway. We're going to get din sorted now. We're kind of stuffed. Dinner time. How's your dinner, Roo? Good. Awesome. What are you eating? Buffalo stew? No. I wish I was. Yeah? What are you having? Uh, Is that crocodile linguine? No. No? Huh? Pasta. Are you sure? Is it, is it barramundi ravioli? No, pasta. Oh, I wish we were having all those things that you found. Mm, we might be able to make some buffalo. Buffalo stew. And actually, such thing as buffalo stew. Hmm. There you go. What a spot to eat dinner, mate. First night in Arnhem Land. so we're just about well Justin's hitched up we're just about to hit the dirt and I just wanted to quickly show you our caravan when we are hitched up ready to go so I'm just going to turn around here so as you can see everything is literally stowed away I've taken my tv off chucked it there I can't find the cover at the minute um so yeah all the drink bottles away all the dishes are done everything has its place and everything that you see such as this sanitizer and my sexy lady over here um, they are sticky dotted down so just do a bit of a general tidy up make sure all the hatches are closed everything in the bathroom stowed away and there you go so as I'm heading out here all I do is check on this And away we go, Yay. kiddos, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> so it's all up to you. If you guys can make 428 k's, we'll get there today. But if you carry on like pork chops, we're gonna stop halfway and throw you in the creek. You're right with that? 
Yes. All right. Happy days. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Oh, it is uh, 8.44. Yeah. We'll but there. see, 400 and whatever Ks, oh. it's still a really extra long way or extra long time oh, mate, because you don't you're get sitting over. on 80. That's right. Yeah. On the corrugation. So it's a bloody long way. That's what day. I mean. I think we should be... Um, no. Like realistic about this. I think we should just punch stop. it. <laughs> we should just punch it. Stop it now, flat rock. But we anyway. could just wake up in the morning with there. It's alright. But we might be a few kids less if we do that, do you? <sighs> or it might be one wife less. You would never get rid of me. <laughs> you keep dreaming. Quick stop. What's going on? This is hit miss. <laughs> sometimes the Just toilet me. roll. Doing a big poo, my love. No, sometimes the bloody toilet paper unravels and other times it'll stay in place. So just take the damn thing off. I normally take it off and just sit it on the kid's bed, but I've just come in here, Charlie's on the toilet here, and hey, you see rolling that. it up. <laughs> so annoying. I hate that. Look at it. <gasps> oh dear. There you go. It's a tough life. Here we go. I'll show you this. That's us. I'll try and spin it the right way because we we're going up to that top corner. So that's, there you go. That's where we started today. This is where we are now. And we're about oh, yeah. halfway along the central Arnhem Road. So. If it stays like this, will we pretty sweet? I don't know. We've got that 297 Ks. That's to get to Gove, or no, to Nullumboy, to the walkabout. Mm. Uh, it's saying three hours and 17 minutes, but that is a big fat lie, Google. It's actually four hours and 17 minutes. <laughs> There's no chance uh, that we'll do 300 k's in three hours no. on this road. So, well, we're sitting. At, we're lucky to be sitting on 80. Yeah, that's right. And if you go any faster, turn a van. You're a damn fool, I reckon. All right, let's go. Lunch time on day two, and we're at a spot called Flat Rock, Rock Creek. Creek. There you go. Now, it is also a campsite on Wiki Camp, so I'll get out and show you. Uh, we're not going to stay here because it's only quarter to one. We're going to actually punch through. But look at this, mate. Pull up here, there's a little table. You're right on the water. You should be mad at sunset. Yeah, it'd be I beautiful. still um, <laughs> I'm not going to go near the water. It, uh, it feels very crocodilicy. It's probably not, but you know. <laughs> Clear, Anywhere up here, you just think water and crocodiles, but check it out. Oh, little yeah. rock table there, reeds, clear water, nice little stop. And it's literally just oh, right on the side of the road here on the central Arnhem Road. So that's the road just there, little water crossing. Happy days, mate. Stop in here for the night if you need be. But from here, it's another about 225 Ks to Nullumboy. So we're gonna make that trek. Um, but we know it's going to take us at least three and a half hours. So that'll put us into Nullumboy around four o'clock, hopefully. All right, lunchtime on the Central Arnhem Road. We're doing well, mate. Boom. Time yep. 20 k's to go to I know. It's a, it's a long, slow road. It is. <laughs> you reckon, kids? Yeah. Bit of music, bit of dancing while we have lunch. <laughs> Good spot for lunch, eh? Mark this one down, Flat Rock. You can stop here and have a chew. Tuna and brown rice for me in the microwave. I love it, mate. So easy. I'm gonna go. Another few hours and get to go. What do you reckon? Boo! Boo! <laughs> what do you want to stay here? Yes. You want to go for a swim with Snappy? Huh? What do you reckon, kids? What's this sign out in front of us? Um, what does that say, mate? <laughs> Charlie Bear. It says, welcome to Nullum Boy. You beauty. Get out and have a look. Here we go. So we made it along this Central Island Road. 700 k's of dirt. I tell you what, the crews are, the van, everything's performed brilliantly. Even the kids. 
Well done, kids. I'm going to give you a little round of applause with one hand. How good is that? Because you did a really good job. It's been a long day in the car, mate. Really long day. Well done to you too, dear. Hey, welcome. Oh, we made it. I'm home. It's been Finally a long home. Drive. <laughs> home. Ah, oh. oh, there you go. One thing I'll tell you. The Central Arnhem Road is no worse than the PDR if you've wow. done if you've done the Cape. So it's pretty good. There's just a lot less to see along the way. It's a big stretch of dirt. We're here now. We're going to go and pull up at the Walkabout Lodge if we can get a spot. We'll show you that, and oh. we'll show you the Gove Boat Club. I'm still not. I'm zonked. She's zonked. Yeah. You've been asleep half the way. I have not. Well, right, let's go and get a cold one. We might even have a feed at the pub tonight, what do you reckon? Yeah, that sounds good. I don't want to cook, so... So keen, eh? Hey? So excited to show you guys around <laughs> Artemis. All right, so we're just rolling into um, Gove. And I'm gonna, I've got a GoPro on the front there. I'll show you what town looks like. It's nice and green, actually. It's actually yeah. a bit fresh outside, too. But so um, just to recap on accommodation in town, there's the Walkabout Lodge and there's the Gove Boat Club. Now we're booked in to the Gove Boat Club as of tomorrow. So, and we're here a day early, so we figured we might as well go and check out the Walkabout Lodge and we can show you what that's like as well. All right, so Walkabout Lodge camping, uh, 40 bucks for the night. They give you a pin code when you go into the, the lodge in the reception and make sure the keypad is not on the gate. The keypad is across the road on a light pole, all right, near the bottle of Don't go searching for it for five minutes like I did. I'll put this in and we'll show the campground. It's only small, but there's only two other people in there. Two? Alright, dear, where are we going now? We are heading to the Go Boat Club. Giddy up. Everyone's so friendly up here. Oh, aren't they? We've had that many waves on the road already. Toots and beeps <laughs> and waves and hey's and yeah. unreal. Yeah. Thanks, Go. Loving Thanks, the, Olive Boy. Yeah, loving the all the Arnhem Land locals. The Thanks hospitality up here. Yeah. Welcome to Go Boat Club. There you go. Nice. And here we are. Oh. Go and get a pin code. Yeah. Check in. Nice grassy site. It looks mint. It's only 18 sites here, yeah? Oh, I can't remember. I think that might have been there was only 18 at the walkabout lodge. So I might have Oh, been okay. Long. It looks like it's a pretty small campground though. Sweet. G'day Rooster. G'day. G'day. <laughs> Alright, he's going. This is the Gove Boat Club, mate. This is where we're going to be staying uh, for probably four or five weeks while we're up here in Arnhem Land and just exploring from here. I believe this is a base camp. It's a good spot because there is um, power and water, grassy sites everywhere, and it's run by a couple of legends called Hayden and Sarah, mate. Young couple. They've been managing the campground and the boat club for a while now, and I'll tell you what, they do a bloody good job. And he's an awesome fish o too, Hayden. If you want a few tips, make sure you hit him up. He's put me onto a couple of good spots, eh? Um, there's a beach out the front. The boat ramp is literally, I don't know, 30 seconds drive from your site. Uh, it's protected. It's all fenced and secure. You've got a gate, like a key card access to get in. And the best part, it's 40 bucks a night, mate. And your seventh night's free. So if you stay for a week, it's 240 bucks. You get one night free if you stay seven. One thing I didn't expect about Arnhem Land is that everything is so uh, easily day trippable in East Arnhem Land anyway uh, from Gove or Nullumboy. So you can do most things, all the Dimaru access areas, all the recreational stuff like go out a lagoon, rainbow cliffs, uh, little Bondi, everything's within an hour's drive. So it's very easy to base camp here and day trip. So at the moment, if you're wondering where I'm going, it's low tide, we're walking down the beach. I'm gonna put a, a crab pot out the mangroves. We're gonna see if we can't get some oysters off the rocks. 
never short of adventure up here, mate. Righto, first trip out of the Gove Boat Club, and I'm pretty lucky. I've got a bit of a hookup okay. through some mutual friends up here. This is Aaron. Say good day, Aaron. There you go, boys. He's going to take girls. us out. And girls. <laughs> he's going to take us I'm out to show us a little bit of local knowledge because he's been up here, what, 30 years? No, I wish. <laughs> I wish. How long, 14. man? 14 years, and he's a mad fish -o. So he's just going to show us the ropes so we can put our tinny in and punch out and grab a few fish for ourselves. But just me and Jack and Aaron will show you what we get up today. Um, hopefully a couple of crabs, and maybe a few tuna if we see a couple of bust ups offshore. Anyway, Stop. let's get into it. So the hole goes in like that, and then it opens out in there, but if you come in probably that direction, feel around, you'll feel it. You grab it, Rude, push him down there, see how you go. <laughs> There's like a big corner in the bottom of the hole. I can get him halfway and he slips off the hook. You hear that? There's that tink tink and you hear their claws try and start fighting the hook. Here we go. Oh, he's digging him out. See some bolts coming out of the hole. Small hole. Hey! <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Shit, he came out quick, didn't he? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Giddy up, Roo. Have a look at the size of that monster. <laughs> hey? Well, really, that was that big. <laughs> oh, what a beauty. Hey, do you always find, you reckon they're always bucks in the holes? Gener they're generally always bucks. They do sit in here with females uh, and they mate in yeah. the holes. Generally, once you disturb him, he'll kick the female out first. So you just got to be careful if it sounds like there's two crabs in there, try and get her out, get her out of the way. Yeah. And then go back in for him. Well, there you go. Look at that, he looks full too. Yeah, he's a good crab. Oof. Yes. <laughs> nice blue claws. Ah, oh, there you go. Number one hole, number one crab. <laughs> Killer. Oh, are you going to tie him up? Yeah. Sweet. Let's do a demo on tying up the muddy. I reckon there's an acquired art for this too. Righto. What sort of string you got? Just bailing twine. Yeah. Cut them so they're two hand lengths. Oh, yeah. So you go around your elbow. Yeah. It's your rough, rough length. Come in. Everyone's got a different way of doing it. Come in under the shell. Yep. Around the bottom of the claws. And pull him tight. Oh, pull him in. Yep. Straight over. Wedge his face into the mud. Hold some down pressure. Two, well basically two granny knots to yep, start yep. with. If you hold, if you get two there, there's enough friction that you can shake him down. Oh yeah, yep. And then the weight of the crab hanging there now oh. is enough. And then one more to lock it off. And he's done. He's not going to bite you. He's not going to bite you. Take your toes off in the boat. Anyone can carry him then. <laughs> Good to go. Grab that, Rui. See? Yeah, you can pick him up, he can't hurt you. Uh, yeah, hold your hand around all this, pick him up like that. Huh, okay. Oh, jeez, he's got some weight in him. Yeah, hold that. Yes. That's dinner, mate. That's heavy. It's been that long. Jack was telling me, he goes, Well, I've never eaten mud crab, Dad. I'm like, You have. It's just been a good two and a half years since we could hook one in WA. This one's you, Jacko. You ready? You oh, I can see him. You drag him out there, get the hook in over the top of him. That's it. Get him out, he's walking out. He's walking out. Oh. Yeah, oh, nearly. Oh. Get him down. Oh, he's coming out. Yes. Ah, you Rooster, you got him. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Watch his claws. Yes. You. Rooster. Now I know how to hold a crab. <laughs> You're killing it, mate. There's another big buck. Uh, that's number five. Number hey? five. Number yeah. five. <laughs> Look at this. Friday, it's Friday Arvo, and I'm about to treat you all to a chilly mud crab session with some fresh um, Arnhem Land muddies, mate, that we only hooked just yesterday. So this recipe I've actually uh, borrowed, pinched, um, requested, taken <laughs> off a bloke called Harry Fisher. He runs a page and a YouTube channel called Fire to Fork. But I tell you what, this recipe looks mint and I'm gonna have to give it a crack. It's his chili mug crab. Uh, I'll run you quickly through what you put in it and then I'll show you along the way how I cook it. But um, a bit of lemongrass. I'm gonna add ginger, I don't think that's in the recipe. Um, some oyster sauce, some soy sauce, garlic, chilies. Like this one is actually gonna be chili. Normally I use like sweet chili and beer and um, everybody can eat it. This time, I don't think the kids are gonna like it. It's gonna have a bit of spice onion to it. Onion like it. Mate, it's gonna be hot, Jacko. An onion, 
um, some diced tomatoes, coriander to serve, and um, I'm gonna put some shallots or spring onions over the top as well, just to finish it off with a bit of garnish. Add my um, Jamie Oliver touch, you know what I mean? That's what Beck reckons, my last name should be Oliver, I'm that good. I but, have never said that. Hey. You she, always say she, that, she, I've never said that. She always ruins it on me too. But I'm gonna do that, so let's kick off with the crab. It's cleaned uh, and broken up into pieces. Now all I've gotta do is grab the back of a big knife and crack all the shells. So when you do cook it, all the flavor gets inside. So I'll do that, I'll chop everything up, and then I'll show you as it goes together and uh, what it's gonna turn out like. I'm gonna do a bit of a fried rice with it. Um, sort of just a basic one, just to put the crab on, drizzle the juices over the top. <laughs> it is going to be good, but look at this. Big, greeny blue, full as a good muddies. Oh, can't wait. They're all donkeys. It's going to be so good. They are. All the crabs we've got up here are big donkeys, aren't they? Donkeys. Donkeys. Look at this. Anyway, sicko. Hope you enjoy this. All right, so what I mean by cracking these, use the back of your knife like this, and there you go. See that? Cracks the shell. That way it lets all the juices and stuff in when you're steaming it and cooking it. It'll cook evenly and it'll taste fantastic. Look at that. Oh, if you ever hear someone say like, are your crabs full or whatever, look at that. They're like bursting at the seams with meat. Whew. And then crack that one as well. That's good. Then do that for each piece. These ones are good. They're sort of already cracked and open. So you don't have to worry about that. I've cleaned most of the stuff out. A bit of this goo doesn't matter. A lot of people reckon this makes it better. It's like a bit of a delicacy, the guts and stuff, but It'll cook out and taste bloody good. So we'll crack all these. Oy, look at that, they just pop. They're that full. It's out of control. Yum. How's my knife skills? Aren't they good? Yeah, better than mum's. <laughs> Oi, I'll tell you what, if you ever want to see something funny, give um, Beck a knife and a block of cheese. Oh, oh right. she, she could barely... She it is barely, hilarious. She could barely cut the whole thing. <laughs> she, she's like... Alrighty, time for the fried rice, check it. So um, what I've got is I've got some broccolini, um, some fine diced shallots for um, garnish at the end. I've got chili, onion, garlic, ginger, lemongrass, yellow capsicum, red capsicum, celery, and a few more shallots to cook it along the way. There you go. Put all that in, uh, I'll do a bit of egg as well, and also you put a splash of soy sauce in, and I like to put a bit of a splash of Worcestershire in as well. And I'll do that when it cooks up. Mate, it's legit. Goes all right, eh? Voila, look at that, mate. That is ready to serve. Drizzle of sweet chili on top. The egg stirred through it. Oh, oh. Tell you what, Beck's gonna be spewing. She's missing out on this one. No, I'm not. That's not fried rice, <laughs> she reckons. Well, guess what, dear? It's not for you. I tell you what, I married well. No, you didn't. Not tonight, you didn't. You get none of that. In she goes. I'm gonna pour all this straight into the pot. Oh, without spilling it. Oh, yeah. That's what, take about 20 minutes, eh? So, wanna get it up to like a boil, then turn it down to simmer and let it simmer for 10 minutes until it's all cooked and I'll just turn it over a few times while it's in there, but. Oh, mate. How good does that look? This looks awesome. Yeah. Oh. Anyways. I'm gonna give it a go. You gonna have a crack? Yeah. There you go, I reckon you'll like it. Yeah. Have a look at this, mate. There you go, the finished product. The cooked crab with some coriander on top. Fried rice with some fresh shallots. How good is that, mate? All right. Here we go, enjoy this with a couple of frosty beers, maybe a glass of red wine. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Next time you get a muddy, you can give it a crack. Well, here's a good bit of info for you, dear. Nullin Boy has a Woolworths. Bing, there we go. So I know a lot so of people good. think like, yeah, we're coming to Arnhem Land. We've got to load up in Catherine and get everything we need, you know, for a couple of weeks. Well, no, you don't. You can um, just have enough for your few days on the Central Arnhem Road, getting up here. Then you can buy bulk in Woolies yeah. in Arnhem Land, but don't go shopping on a Sunday. 
So it is open, but they they literally got no food in there. So their barge day is Monday, and by the time they unpack and um, restock the shelves, the best time to go is Tuesday morning. We've been told by the locals. Yeah. So, so we're, we're here on Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, <laughs> and you wouldn't believe it, the car park's actually full. Yeah. So everyone's same idea. But there you go, good info. There's BWS, Woolies. Um, yeah, it's got everything you need up here. It's a great little town. Yeah. Cape Barnum. Now I'm going to tell you a bit of info because we've struggled to find the track back out of here. Google Maps was taking me somewhere silly, but come back out uh, the Central Arnhem Road to the Stewart Highway turn off, and then look, you'll see that little sign there sticking up in the bush. There's a track off to the left, and you take that one, and then uh, we'll head down this way. You'll drive up the beach on low tide. Keen as. All right, where are we going, kids? Cape Harmon. Cape Harmon. Cape Harmon. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. Uh Yeah. <laughs> and there's four campsites down there. You have to get a Dimaru access permit and you have to get uh, a camping permit. So it cost us nearly $200 for a month long um, access permit. And then you just pay, depending on how many people on that, uh, for your camping per night. But anyway, book online, you get a digital copy of your, uh, what's it called, permit. And make sure you have that on you because there's ranges and that that check. Mm. Anyway, I think it's going to take... Uh, about an hour and a half from Gove to get out there. Um, probably, probably another hour for us now. Anyway, I'll stop and show you this. Crocodile and stinger warning. Help prevent erosion. Drive only on the tracks, deflate your tyres, use barbecues provided, catch heaps of fish and don't get eaten by a crocodile. Sounds good to me. If you can hear me, it's a little bit windy up here, but this is the last section of the track leading onto the beach. You should see this, mate, hey? That was really nice. It went through a bit of sandy stuff, bit of rocky stuff, bit of steep descent. There's a beautiful look out at the top, some pandanus forest, and now we come out of this little sandy track onto the beach. Oh, mate, I'm so stoked, eh? This is so nice. It is unbelievable. Hey, hey. Up we go, and we're out onto the beach, mate, at Cape Arnhem. Oh, how good does that look? <laughs> oh, the sand, the water. Oh, the epicness, the remoteness. Way the rockiness. Happy days. Here we go. Now it's just a bit of a beach run down to the campsite. We'll show you what that looks like, eh? Alright, so we're on the beach. I just want to show you, this is why you want to try and time it with the tide chart to hit it on low tide. So have a look where we are now. Super easy, nice and hard. Once you get up the top there, oh look, there's an old TV. <laughs> um, once you get up the top there, it's super soft. So you don't want to be battling that all the way down the beach if you can just pick the tides and come there. So one other thing we're going to do while we're up here is a bit of a clean up. I've got some of my rubbish bags with me. I'll show you through them again. Uh, it's good to carry a few of those with you. We can pick up what we can while we're here and take it back and put it in the bins. I know um, what they do really well up here, East Arnhem has like a community of people that clean up and go and do beach cleanups very regularly. So it's all just stuff that gets washed in like fishing nets, um, squid jigs from commercial long oh and squid God, jigs over in snake Indonesia snake and stuff. Yeah. And there's TVs and plastic and bottles and everything. So we'll just pick up what we can while we're up here because this place is so damn beautiful. You want to leave it better than when you come here, that's for sure. All right, let's go. We'll be at the campsite soon. Happy about that, dear? Oh, yeah. She yeah. did well, that's hey? Cool. Well no, done, dear. Thanks. Well done on the drive, and everyone say, well done, Mum. Well done. I gave her an 8 out of 10. So I, I gave her a 10 out of 10. I thanks, got a Bill. I gave her a trillion out of 10. A trillion. Thanks, Bezzy. Well, I think that's enough for the day. Well, there you go, mate. This is Yay. site four at Cape Arnhem. Have a look at it. We got rope swings, we got fire pits, we got tables. So good. We got views. We're gonna have a sunset. We are. Oh, this is killer. This is west, so. We're gonna um, 
cook up some lunch now. I'm going to throw all the gear down. Yep. And we'll slowly set up and we'll show you what we're going to um, sleep in tonight. What's for lunch? Wraps. Wraps. Easy. Happy days. Ham, salad, wraps. I'll get you the table down, my love. Thank you. Righto. Here's what I've brought with me. I bought our chairs from home. Whoa. The fishing rods, bag of firewood, and our table and chairs to set that up. Um, so I'll throw all that down. The miso can set it up. We can crack into a bit of lunch here. This is epic, mate, eh? Probably took us um, a good two hours, hey, to get in here. That's just cruising. So it's nice. It's real nice. Sorry, dear. She's up me. <laughs> Crab's going on, slap it on top, get it in go the center, it. and away we go. Now, I've already marinated it in a bit of uh, sweet chili, but as that gets going, I'm going to pour the rest of that in, top it off with a bit of beer, get it steaming around, and about 15 20 minutes on the fire, I'll be able to pull it off and eat some mud crab. Happy days. How's your snuggle? Great. You'll be the captain. Cut. Copy the king. I'll be the one. And you can carry me away if you want to. <laughs> you can't let it Crab's done. Come and have a look at this. Oh, we. Chili mug crab. Cape Arnhem. Good life get any better. Like, seriously. I'm gonna um oh look at that. Come and have a look at that. Mm. I'm gonna sit here. Mm. Smash this mud crab. Crab's ready! The boys are gonna help me. The good thing about muddy for me is that Beck doesn't like it. <laughs> so whatever I catch, it's pretty much all mine. The boys have a little bit, but oh mate, I generally get it all to myself. Check out the size of that, would ya? That's a big pool. That is out of control. Ready? Hang on. Hang on. If that ain't a mug crab lollipop, I don't know what is. Look at that. Right. Oh. Take that. Sweet chili. Is it really that good? Mug crab is so good. Beck don't believe me. It's so good. Have a bite. Mm. Good? Kind of crack it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bilbo. You don't know. Mm. Mate, that is that is good. Bill, I don't like it, so you don't have to either. Mm. Favorite bit. That's good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's Oh. That's all mine. No, hey. No, no one's getting any. What? This is all my crap. You're joking. <laughs> it's all right. Lucky I've got some more. <laughs> mm. Have a look at this. When you crack the leg out, look at this, look at this. Oh, that's the best bit, like this. I love that. Give mm. it to me. This is so good. That's amazing. Charlie, go that way. <laughs> 
Ah, of course. It had to get a bit of wild weather while we were camping. Uh, hang on, I'll put this up. You can have a look. Hang on. There we go. Do you see anything? There we go. We're going to try and put the flies on. It's very hard. It's saying. It's not an Arnhem Land camping trip unless you get a random storm, eh? We'll see how we go. I might get blown away. <laughs> I'm just trying to have a shower and <laughs> there's a bit of background noise going on. Yeah. And I'm like, Beck, just settle down, mate. She's like, no, there's something out there. And I'm like, well, there's no one here. I said, it might be a buffalo. And anyway, I'll grab the torch and have a look. And anyway, it's a bloody buffalo. Have a look at this. You can't see it now. You can. Look. Oh, you're joking. It's gone. Where the hell did it go? I promise you, there was a buffalo there as I was having a shower. It was like chewing grass right there. <laughs> right now, we're ready to go. What a night up at Cape Arnhem. I am so um, stoked that we got to spend a night out here. Like we said, it was only two days that we could actually choose one because uh, the bookings were all taken for the next few months and I can see why. Hey, we copped a little bit of wind. I didn't get any fishing done. I thought I would. I reckon if we look this way, if it wasn't so windy, on low tide you'd be able to walk out to the edge of the reef like the rocks there and actually flick plastics or metals off the side there i reckon you'd get some fish but um mate just to spend the night out here have a campfire eat some mud crab it's beautiful ridiculous mate ridiculous so we're going to plan to head back now follow that low tide mark so we can get along the beach but there's also i'll swing around here to get out of the wind there's also a place called oyster beach beck yeah and, and cave cave beach, beach or something yeah. so there's a turn off we've seen We'll go up there and we'll take you down and have a look at that on the way home. Back to our little base camp at Gove Boat Club. Show you this on the way out. Nice little dunny here if you don't carry your own. Yep, there you it's go. It's pretty clean too. It does. Yeah. I reckon it's well worth carrying your own though, eh? Oh, absolutely. Like how much? Hands down. The amount of day trips that There's we do and paper. the kids go, oh, I need to go to the toilet. Yeah. You're like, lucky we have one in the back. I just think so it's so handy for like campsites that are well used all the time. Oh yeah, that you don't too. want to be like digging holes nah. all the time. Like no, nah. when you go on number twos, it's nice to definitely have. Ours a was like I don't know, hundred bucks or so oh, from Anaconda. You grab a little Bedford or Dometic toilet. Yep. Um, yeah, well yeah, well worth the cost. Especially the when you go up the beach for a day trip and things, and the kids yeah need to do a, a poo. <laughs> um, oh, we best ever, honestly. Well worth it. I talked to you into bike. Yeah. Never thought you'd talk so much about it. I know, I just realised. I really like You're having it. passionate a... about the tour. <laughs> well, really, it's just all about comfort for me and convenience. So we got back to the beach. We need to drive along and there's still a little bit too much water on it, but that's okay. Because. <laughs> Check this out, mate. We have found this little bit of paradise. Oh my God. The water is that nice and clear. Oh, it's a best temperature and it's shallow for quite a way out. So you feel safe swimming here. Yeah. swimming here. I'll take you for a walk. These rocks are legit beautiful, hey? It's so nice. You coming in, Bill? Come on. Kids are loving it actually go for a swim it's not stinger season so you don't have to worry about stingers it's nice and clear and sandy oh so good check this out oh, oh there's a little deep hole here kids look at this Look at all the bait in the corner. Oh, look at this, it's like a little cave. Unreal. Look at that. This is epic. Check it. Whoa. Oh, I might have to get the rod off and have a flick. Lots of bait in there. This is beautiful. Ah, I'm looking I'll tell you what, Arnhem Land's definitely worth the trek up. And we've only been here three days. 
Oh, it's a jack. Yeah. A mangrove jack. Look at that. Hey, off the beach. You're kidding. It's a nice probably, little fish, isn't it? You can probably keep it. On a soft vibe. There you go. Oh, well, what do you reckon of this spot, my love? Beautiful! Oh a bit God. of paradise, isn't it? That is so nice. Bit of a catch and cook, or a bit of a hooked and cooked. Um, Becky Boo, spin around and show them where we are, mate. I did make sure. Oh, bit of paradise. Oh, my God. I can yeah. see it. So, uh, this is called the Granites. So it's only about a 15 minute tinny ride from the Go Boat Club. Uh, it's part of your Dimaru recreational pass. You just got to jump online and book this as a camping site. I actually booked it to come and camp, but because um, it's so close, uh, we're just going to come over here. Uh, set up, not a tent, just set up a little spot. Then we're going to go fishing. So I'm going to catch a fish and we're going to come back and cook it on the campfire for you. So something a little bit different for us. Um, and yeah, maybe I'll come back and camp with the lads. I don't know. We just sort of bit of a mission taking the whole family and all our camping gear. In this tinny, yeah. In this tinny. <laughs> but there you go, shut yeah, it down. It's so clear. Have a look at the water, mate. Oh what the God. hell? That is so beautiful. Isn't that killer? The granites, mate. Mm. There you go, kids. Hey, kids. Jump off. Oh. And the water temperature. Oh, my Lord. It's just amazing. You're tucked in here out of the wind. Oh, oh. epic. Anyway, up here, someone's left a little tarp up there. When you come up in the corner here, there's a um, a fire pit, a little table, and then a nice flat area to set your tents up behind it. So me and Billy come and check this out the other day, scoped it out before we booked it online. But you're dead set out of the wind up here. Like it's been blowing, because we're in the dry season, they get the trade winds up here. But over in this corner, it's just absolute oh, bliss, mate. Have a look at this. We've come out for our fish. Now I've, um, I've got two rods. Three I'm gonna give Beck the first one. I want Beck to catch a fish, right? Yeah. So this is where me and the kids have been catching reds. Uh, I caught a little. Right, oh, those oh, nana guy. Yeah, yeah. So I caught a little mackerel the other day. I kept it for bait. I'm gonna pin that on there. I'm gonna drop it straight over the side. Why? Why can't? Oh yeah, here. There you go. And Beck is going to catch us the first fish. Wait until it's at the bottom and <laughs> the bag. As soon as we're just going to come out and catch a couple of quick fish, then we're going to shoot straight back and start a fire and have a cook up. And um, lo and behold, I've got a little sneaky treat for you when we get back too. Don't worry about that. Um, yeah, just get it on the bottom. Jack's, Jack's giving her instructions. But yeah, we've got a little campfire cook up for you. I'm stoked. For him to take it. There you go, you're getting bites. Becky, baby. You got it yet? Jack, don't keep me on the bum. You gotta get him, it's all up to you, dear. We don't eat without you. Shh, I'm concentrating. Oh. Oh. I'm not oh, so close. Yes! <laughs> Becky Boo! She's onto a stonker too! I am! I am! Oh my god! You're kidding! Oh! Go, dear! Oh! oh hang on, what's going on here? Oh, oh, oh. Nice oh. and easy, slow down, slow down. Bring oh my him god! In. Easy, 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 stop, stop, stop. What? That's oh, a cod, yeah, oh, bring him in. Oh, big cod. Wait oh. there, wait there. Hold it. Hold his head in the water. Out. Hold his head in the water. Oh, yeah. Swim him over. Swim him over. Yeah. I've got a fish. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. You're kidding. I know, oh my god. Flick your bow over. It's not Flick bad, your bow over. Bow. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, oh. my heart's racing. Look at that, that's a good fish. Is he edible and legal? Absolutely. Oh, yes. That's a cracker. I never huh? get edible ones. Caught on the fire, dude. Yeah. You legend, oh. high five. I really don't think Arnhem Land could get much better right now. <laughs> I've got to show you this. Have a look in this esky with you. Apart from the old uh, pure blonde tin and the Pringles packet, check out what's in there. Ooh. Little sneaky little crayfish and a nice big cod that Becky caught. Look at this. Oh, I might give us them. <laughs> Fresh craze from Bremer Island. Uh, one of the blokes we met up here. Thanks, Aaron. 
he did a day trip over there with his family today and then come and met us on the beach the Savo and slipped us a couple of craze. So hold it up there. You want to hold one, Bearsy? Yeah. Look and at that. They, and they just scared that shedded hey? their skin. That one just shedded its skin. A little bit of local Arnhem Land hospitality. You can't beat that. Hang on, hang on to it by the top there. Ready? Let it go. Let it go. Ah, there you no, go. Is it hanging down? Yes. Bit of cray tail for dinner. What do you reckon? You gonna yeah. have a crack? And then um, <laughs> Becky managed to get this nice cod that we just showed you. So we're gonna clean that up. Oh wow! Look at it. We'll put that on the fire with the cray tails. Happy days, mate. I'm like so proud of my cod. <laughs> Seriously. I'm, oh, mate, if I had the guts to go and like dive in Arnhem Land, um, I'd probably go and get some of these for myself. But yeah, I'm a little bit worried about crocodiles and sharks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so Fair. thank you, locals. Yeah. Cheers, Aaron. Oh, the glove's coming in handy again. We'll pick him up gently. Pretty heavy, so don't drop him. Oh, yeah. That's a Have a look at that. Oh, I know how heavy he is. Now swing in here. Point. Swing in here. Look, you just peel the skin back. Oh, get yeah. your fork. You don't have to eat the skin because it's all char grill. Get your fork and dig into that. Let's do it. Oh, oh, oh. Hey? Because I caught the fish. Ah. She has the first taste. I do, Jack. Correct. I should do that more often. It's nice. It's so good, eh? Yep. Oh that, that's what you that's what we usually fill it out. Mm. But it's whole. It is whole. How good's that? Come it's and have good. a taste test. It's delicious. Can I try? Yeah, you can try. Ready, I'm gonna try. Come on, give me some. <laughs> I feel like I'm starting my own YouTube channel. Oh yeah? What are you gonna call it? What are you gonna call Deciding. it? <laughs> You said the Jack's gnarly. Do you like it or you preferred crumbed and battered fish? I would prefer crumbed and battered, but that's pretty good. Oh, good. You like it. All right. I like it. Jack, you said your YouTube I'm very was picky. Jack's gnarly. All right, crayfish time, eh? Ready? Cray tail. Oh, mate. Let's get it out of the shell. Mm, that's really nice. Oh. You watching? Mm. You watching? Mate. The day just got better. I didn't think it could, but it did. Thanks, dear, for providing dinner. Yeah. Righto. Hunter and gatherer. See you guys. day trip today mate i know i'm excited we're going to barnabanu resort which is on bremer island and we go from the go boat club right yep. here mate how good is it it's about a 45 minute trip so i'm a little bit nervous because i'm really good at getting seasick <laughs> but hopefully it's a sweet trip we've got a good day we have got a good day anyway keen as swim around have a bit of lunch and um show you what bremer island's all about mate <laughs> been hanging to get over here for a while we'll give you some more info later So, uh, what do you reckon, mate? Barney, Barney. I'm feeling pretty good. I've had a couple <laughs> of cocktails. <laughs> it's pretty bloody nice, mate. Yeah. Like, you pull up, so you should probably spend, I don't know, what time do we get here? About 10 o'clock? Mm, 10.30. You, you leave Around again 10. at 2.30. Got a couple of hours in the morning to swim, explore the island. There's kayaks here. Mm. There's snorkeling stuff. You can walk over the other side of the island. You can walk up the beach. And then um, lunch, mate. A couple of beers. Yeah. Cocktails. Yep. Uh, we had a really nice lunch. Yeah, fish burger for me, squid for the squeeze. Yep, kids had nuggets. Yeah, it was good. And now another couple of hours before the boat goes home. Mm. And then go for a bit of a walk up the end of the beach and um, show you a few more photos and vids from around the joint. But I'll tell you what, it's um, a little piece of paradise it up here in Arnhem. It's so beautiful. Hey? Kids are just loving being able to swim here too. So you, you know can what? Swim it's, here. Yeah, you can. Yeah, swim flat out. You know what? It's really good. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's 
super, super relaxing. Oh, I don't know. Ridiculous. Like you're just like sitting on the beach. In Teton. Fully content. Um, yeah, and the swimming helps. Oh my yeah. god. Like how oh. the water up here is such a tease. Yep. And most of the time you can't swim in it. But the kids have just lived in the water yeah. the whole morning. So good times. Hi. Good times. Yep. Anyway, yeah. just gonna try and convince old wifey here not to have five more cocktails <laughs> and then I don't have to carry her home this afternoon. But <laughs> Anyway, I started off with the espresso martini <laughs> and then I went to the Aperol spritz. Now she wants to finish now, the rest of the list, you know, number <laughs> six. <laughs> no, I, want, I would like another Aperol spritz. Oh, anyway, maybe um, you could go up and get me one. Pass. <laughs> when we're in, um, when you're in Arnhem Land, mate, check it out. The um, East Island, it's Bremer Island, it's called mm. Banu Banu. Um, especially nice. if you're staying at the golf club, I mean the boat club, far out. Mm. I've only had two beers. <laughs> If you're staying at the boat club, you just walk out the front of your caravan, jump on the transfer, and you're here in an hour. Mm. Um, uh, prices, I don't know, Beck booked yeah. it. So. so it's 120 per adult, $90 per child. Wow, yeah. So it ain't cheap. No. We did, we did we, sort of mull weeks. over this a while, yes. and then we're like, oh. <laughs> we're here once. We really need to go and see it. So it's not a cheap day trip, but I tell you, it's something pretty unique, and we haven't seen it anywhere else yeah. in the country. So it's beautiful. There you go. We'll leave you with couple of cool shots of Banu Banu and um, we'll be home back to go over the Sabbath. Mm. We're going to sneak up this um, creek, see if we can't put a few liveys on and smack something different, eh? See how this goes. Only real small liveys, so I'm putting four of them on to flap around. Get it back in there. I'm onto a good fish, but there he is, he's coming out of the snag. Oh, come on, I've still got him. Let's see if we can't get him out of this snag here. Lost him. He's nipped me off. He was still there too, he was in the snag. Oh. That's good though, that's good. I've got one out of the snag. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a good, good jack or a grunt or something. Holy, have a look at this. Oh. 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 oh, yeah. Oh, that is exciting fishing. Holy hell. Hey, what? An absolute corker of a cod on the light gear, hey? Oh, it's only on 20 pound. My little quick fire combo. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, look at the gob on it. Yum. I tell you what, if you haven't had fresh cod and chips, it is a bloody good feed. Oh, that's on half a pilly. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I'm so happy with that. That is killer. There you go. The weather's got a bit ugly on me, uh, so it's a little bit lumpy. I've just got to cruise home, but I might as well throw the old Halco Laser Pro out the back. Cruise along so I start so uncomfortable and see if we can't get a spanny on the way home, eh? Ah, oh, got one on the troll. Hey, it worked. He's a good Mackie. About a metre long. Oh. Here he comes. Look at that. No. There you go. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a flipping day. Have a look at this fish, mate. Holy hell. Oh. Oh. Going nuts. There we go. Have a look at that. <laughs> oh, happy days, mate. Big Spaniard to finish off the sesh. Oh, that's me. I'm going home now. Woo. Giddy up. <laughs> yes. Woo. Happy days. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. There we go. That's the end of the morning session. Good mixed bag and nanny, queenie, cod and a metery Spanish Mac. <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah, happy? Yeah, pretty happy.
Hey, I'm just going to give you a bit of info while we're cruising around. Jacko's driving. Yeah. We're just trolling around the bay, see if we can't pick up a stray Mackie or something. But in Melville Bay here from the boat club, uh, you'll see a lot of industry going on, so I'll swing around. Excuse the wind noise if you cop a bit, but behind me is, that's the refinery. Or it used to be the bauxite refinery. And it's now in care and maintenance. They don't actually refine it here. They just ship it offshore as bulk. So it comes straight from the bauxite mine uh, out to the end here, to the loading docks. And it goes offshore that way and they refine it somewhere else. I don't know the whole reasoning behind that, whether it's too expensive or whatnot, but I know um, when I was born up here, uh, and that's what dad come up for. He was a fitter machinist uh, working at the refinery. So there you go, bit of info. And now it's shut down. So when um, the whole operation closes in a few years, they have to return it to a certain level of environmental sort of standard, right? Which means they have to pull down that refinery, turn it all into scrap metal and um, refurbish that sort of land, right? I don't know what's gonna happen. The locals don't know either. They reckon there's another five years left in the mine they've been told and then what will happen to Gove and Nullum Boy I don't know so much potential up here for for tourism and I don't know yeah caravanning and camping and that so it'd be a shame to see nothing happen with it but who knows that's above my pay grade anyway come on rooster big mackerel out the back eh what do you reckon yeah Whee! too fast bro Uh, mud crab mission we're going to check this pot that we put in yesterday afternoon we um, found a good hole uh, but couldn't get the crab out of it. it's too deep so we shoved a pot in its face uh, I can see him in the bottom there probably should have worn shoes it would have been smart all right you ready oh hoo, 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 hoo. hello mr. mud crab yeah here's your pie cheers Cheers. Cheers, kids. Ah, I don't want to breathe my Cheers. pie. He's to a good camping trip with Dad, eh? Yep. There's a few um, spots to camp out here. So I'll get a shot of this sign and show you. There's Dallywood Bay, McCassins Beach, Turtle Beach, and Little Bondi. There you go. I'll give you a look at them all along the way. We're gonna go on a little camping adventure up here in Arnhem Land now. In the Dimaru Recreation Area, there's heaps of spots to go. Today, we're going down to one of these tracks or a bit of a peninsula. It's got four beaches on it you can camp on. We're gonna stay at Barandura, which is Little Bondi. And we'll give you a look at these other few along the way as well. We've got the tents in the back, got a bit of food, a few treats for me and the kids. And um, we'll show you how to do it, mate. Gonna have a bit of fun without the squeeze. Oh, -ho, righto, as you come into the track, towards the campsite you'll find these signs up here collect firewood now so there's a stretch between here and usually a couple of k's out from the campsite that I've noticed you can collect firewood in the bush uh, I've got the chainsaw in the back so me and the kids will find a few dead logs and we'll throw them up on the roof rack as we go we found some wood managed to find a few of the right size this is what you want for us anyway logs like this that we can cut up easy with a little saw. Chuck on the roof. Yes, nice and dead, nice and hard. And they fit up on the Almac really good. Charlie. Good thing about that boat loader too, it's got like an inbuilt tray on it so you can just chuck a heap of gear up on there. I like it. I really like it. Because it actually won't really come out. Oh, it'll be a little bit hard. Mission accomplished. We found a good one. Ready to go, kids? Yes! Yo. Where are we, Bill? Little Bondi! Little Bondi! It's a pretty little track once you hit that Bondi sign. I've got a GoPro on the front there that shows you. It's like a nice little tight sort of rainforesty track. Oh my God. And oh, we're wow. just about to hit the entrance to the beach. It is magic, mate. You watch. Oh. All right, I'm gonna put a nice little music track on now for you and you can watch us drive out on the beach. 
it's pretty damn nice, eh? Hey? All right, well, here we go. This is Little Bondi, right? This is the beach, and it's also the campground. Now, it's one thing I'm not quite sure about. What do you reckon about camping here, kids? Not really, like, kind of safe. <laughs> We're all a little bit worried about how close we are to the water, um, considering we're gonna be kicking out a tent, right? So this is where the tent would go, and I'll quickly turn you around. There's the beach and the water, and um, you can see the high tide comes up to just here past the car. So there's a couple of issues. I'm worried about stray lizards walking up the beach of a night time, obviously. I mean, it's probably slim to none, but it's always in the back of your mind. Uh, and also the tide, I know, I don't know. I know the full moon was a few nights ago, so the tides shouldn't be that big that they come up any further, but I don't know. I'm just not real confident about sleeping here. And there's only, there's one good campsite up the very start, but there's, um, someone sort of spread themselves out in there and I don't, yeah, we'd sort of be pushing in and camping on top of them if we could pull in there. It's sort of back in the fore June in a little sectioned off bit. And the rest of it's literally just beachfront. So perfect for rooftoppers, that sort of thing. If I was in a rooftop tent, I wouldn't have a drama. But um, anyway, what do you reckon kids? The kids aren't feeling it either. No. They're all a little bit sketch on the high idea. We might We've duck back and- we for eight years. We might go back and stay at uh, Turtle or Mackesons or something where you're not quite on the beach. But um, anyway, I'm gonna put the drone up now and give you a look at little Bondi because it is absolutely beautiful. So we are obviously parked up there and oh my god, this is amazing. You have no idea when you're up north how awesome it is to just swim in the ocean. But it feels really safe here, like it's super clear. Oh, how good is it in the salt water, mate? When you haven't been in the salt for ages, yeah. you're just tongue in to get in for a swim. It is so good, so mate. Good. The water temp is so good. Amazing. And it's so clear. I know everyone's going to say, what are you swimming? It's up in Arnhem Land, but all the locals come out here, they surf here, and you can see for a long way. So I said that. we've been yeah. watching for ages and we're only playing around in the shallows. So I think it's pretty safe to swim up here and I'm happy to have a dip, mate. Oh, it just amazing. makes you... <laughs> it makes you realize how reliant you are in the ocean. Oh, like, mate. it just makes you so happy. I actually feel like a new person. <laughs> Just after having a bit of a swim. Oh, I gotta dive in. It's sick, mate. Oh. Off you go, dear. <laughs> oh. Hey, we're gonna try Mackison's Beach, eh? Hey? Right, -o. hey, we've had a change of plans. We've tried to get. Uh, back to book us another site um, but there's nothing available so we've come in for a drive to Mackesons it's beautiful I'll show you around uh, but there's a free site here but <laughs> knowing my luck if we set up now give it an hour or something people will show up at dark and we'll be like oh, gotta pack up and go I don't want to take someone's site so what we're gonna do we're just gonna park here cook up our dinner early and then we'll have to head home tonight but look at this, campfire, swing, cliff, beach, mate, Mackesons, it's pretty damn awesome, eh?
Ah, the ultimate toasty. Have a look at it. Oh, it's worked out a treat too. What do you reckon, Rude? Look all right? Can I have one now? Yeah, I'm going to cut them up now. Let them cool down. That's our dinner. Yeah. Thank you. Give it a crack. How hot is it? Really hot. Dad, can you go get mm. oh, nice. that, mate? That is deluxe. Oh, mate. Actually, like a little pizza pocket, eh? So good. So good. I suppose that wasn't the most successful camping mission, hey? Eagle. We didn't end up camping at Little Bondi. Yeah, and we actually not gonna end up camping anywhere at all. But whatever, we've come out, I've had some time with the kids, we've had dinner on the beach. Um, we all make mistakes, hey? And when you gotta book a site, and then, um, yeah, you got no service to try and change it up when you're out here. It makes it a bit hard, eh? It really does. But anyway, I hope that's a bit of info for you. I've showed you Little Bondi um, and Mackesons. Two awesome campsites, but yeah, yeah. You just know that Little Bondi is probably not real suitable for tents on the beach. Uh, but Mackesons is absolutely stunning, mate. But you're just more exposed to the weather. It's actually really quite windy here. Anyway, righto kids, ready to go? No. No, so they're spewing too, they don't want to go. Still get to do all those good jobs, <laughs> even up here in Item Land. Hey, um, so the one thing about the Gove Boat Club is that it doesn't have a dump point. There's um public amenities there, but when you got to empty uh, the pupa, you got to drive into town. So it's just in town near the footy fields. You'll find it out the back. It's a good, just a standard dump point with a water tap, um, and away you go. So, hot tip: carry two canisters, because um, yeah, be in every second day. mate, it saves you. So it's only eight hassle. minutes into town, but... I oh, know. Yeah, just having two canisters. It's, oh, yeah. life-changing. Get on it. Anyway, but yeah, just so you know, there's no dump point at the boat club. It's kind of weird that there's a surf life-saving club right beside a crocodile warning sign, isn't it, dear? It's very strange. What's going on, Nala boy? <laughs> they love it, mate. They just like, they're like, whatever. Crocs are here. Carry on as per normal. Just keep a lookout for it. So, good on them. Anyway, this is nice. We're going to come down here and check out. They they open for, like, meals and drinks as well. Mm. We've been told Friday up as they go. Yeah, so we'll, we'll come down here on a Friday night, grab something to eat, let the kids play in the playground there, yeah. and there's probably going to be tons of other kids here running amok. So, yeah. Do that. It's a nice Whoa. beach, eh? Real nice beach. Well, the old, the old fence ain't you know, too good a repair. Whoop. <laughs> All right, um, we're gonna go and have a look at Rainbow Cliffs. I'll show you that spot. One of the, the closest campground is called Rainbow Cliffs. It's only a few k's out of town, and then you hang a left off the highway. We're only it's on dirt. We're 10 minutes away on the dirt. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take you down there. They reckon it's pretty nice and a good spot to camp as well. Mm. But uh, up here, it's a bit sketchy with whether or not you're allowed to have caravans and stuff in the campsites. So I really don't wanna do the wrong thing um, and like let all you guys know you can take your caravan there when it's not really, you know, if it's sort of frowned allowed. upon. Yeah. So we're gonna go and have a look now. Um, and just see what it's like, see what the access is like, and yeah. show you the campground, whether we end up here or not. I don't know. We're um we're pretty happy back at the boat club, mate. Oh, it's just so <laughs> nice there. When you've got like grass and the beautiful <laughs> views, it's 4Ks of this by the way. That's all right. Um, anyway, yeah. we'll get in here and show you these rainbow cliffs. Hopefully, um, the name says something about what it looks like. Rainbow Cliffs, here we are. 
I'll tell you what, this is pretty damn spectacular. We've come down to the day use area. Um, so that's, you turn right to go there, you go left to go to the campground. So the campground's further up here, but oh, online they look the same as this. Check it out. Come out here, on the cliff. You got fire pits, you got tables, you got ocean views. Mate, you know what the best part is? There's no one here. This is insane. Love it. Hey, heaps of frill neck lizards running around. Look at this view out here. That is unbelievable. Right on the cliff. Wow. Ah, <laughs> oh, rainbow cliffs for the wind, mate. This is a mint spot. We're going to run a day trip today out of the Go Boat Club. It's only about half an hour, it's telling me 20 minutes. Um, we're going to a place called Goanna Lagoon, which is a swimming hole up here. Apparently, it's safe, all the locals swim here, and it's a designated swimming hole, but we'll still be careful. It's supposed to be like a, a, like a sandy clay sort of mm. swimming hole with a log in there, and you can, kids can have a bit of fun. Anyway, that's us, that and Latrim. We'll um, go and show you what it's about. Okay? Yeah, I am actually. We haven't done a swimming hole for ages, so it's no, gonna be really nice. We haven't. No. Yeah. What about you, kids? Came for a swim? Yeah. You know what this game's called? The Greasy Pig. You ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, you gotta do three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> <He's really good>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> That's so cool. What do you reckon? Awesome! <laughs> Well, there you go, we found it, hey? This is Goanna Lagoon. What do you reckon, Bill? Awesome. It's awesome, isn't it? It's a, like a series of lagoons that sort of cruise along for a few hundred meters, but I just started walking that way, I tell you. It starts to feel a bit sketchy up there, like with no one around in these little billabong style things. I'm like, oh, I'll go back to the rapids, please. <laughs> if you come down this way, there's like a little crevice in the rocks, the waterfall comes down and it's carved out this little section where you can sort of float down in between. It's pretty tight, but it is damn nice here. Here she is, give us a wave. Hey! <laughs> oh, I did not expect this, eh? I sort of, the photos I'd seen were just little sandy pools. Not like this, have a look. What? Yeah. Ah, oh, it is so nice, mate. The water temp is mint. Yes. Have a look at this up this way. Oh. And down this way. Alrighty, morning. Hey, this is going to be my last little fishing mission in Arnhem Land. I've come out super early. The wind's down finally. So I'm going to get a couple of hours in this morning. But oh, man, this is a good fish, whatever it is. Oh, it's a jack, but it's pulling up the snag with it, I think. Oh, what have I got? That's a solid fish. Oh, it's a massive cod. Holy hell. This is what we're after. Oh, come on, son. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Not quite ready. He's heads up. Oh, here he is. Oh, no, 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 no. in the net. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you have got <laughs> look at this thing. Oh Christ mate. Wow. Have a look at that. Oh <laughs> you're kidding. Oh no why? Wow eh? 
hey? Oh, out of about two meters of water. Have a look at the size of that cod, would ya? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put him on the mat. Oh, and see if we can't see how big he is. God, he's heavy, man. He's so heavy. Oh, have a look at this. Oh, look at that. He's a good, oh, he's like a 70 centimeter cod. Oh, wow. That is insane. <laughs> yeah, that's fishing, man. That is fun fishing. All right, I'm going to take you on a day trip today, or we all are. We're going to go out and do a bit of exploring, right? So, about an hour from yeah. Nullumbar, you come back out the Central Arnhem Road. I'm just dropping my tyres down now as we hit the dirt. Uh, but we're going to a place called Gapuru or Memorial Park. Nice. Now, we would have liked to camp out there, wouldn't we, my love? But no campsites available. No, well, apparently there's only one campsite there, so understandably, it's booked out. That would be cool if you could book the whole thing yeah. yourself, but there's supposed to be a really nice sort of waterfall swimming area yeah. out there. So we're going to do this big trip and I'll show you an overlay of the map here now, but um, we'll go to Gapuru, then we'll come back and check out Giddy River. Then we'll check out Scout Camp, which is uh, Manan Manangami. Yeah, and you can um, camp there too. You can camp at really all nice. these. Yep. Yeah. And then we might, if we've got time after we have lunch, we bought the sandwich press along. We're gonna have a couple of jaffles. Yay! Um, <laughs> we might check out the Eurocolor Art Centre on the way back in. We'll but, just see how the kids are going. Yeah, it's only half an hour from where we're staying. So if we don't do it today, we've got another couple of weeks here, so we can pop back out then. Yeah, but there you go. Best thing, I got this in Catherine from the info center. It's just a little brochure on East Arnhem Land and it's only two pages, yeah. but it's got all the landmarks and pretty much all the things you can go and mm. see without meeting the locals and getting yeah. some different experiences and from first-hand TOs and that. Go. Actually, all the access permit info is put in here. So there you go. You just got to jump online with the Dimaru and the NLC and get all the permits you need for while you're in Arnhem Have Land. you explained what NLC is? Northern Land Council. Isn't it National Land Council? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky I wasn't Lucky explaining that. <laughs> anyway, we'll show you what this is going to be like. Memorial, Giddy, Scout Camp, uh, maybe the Art Centre. Yeah. It's going to be a good day. It is. It's okay. nice. Yep. And then, um, then we would have, I would have ticked off my um, exploratory uh, obligation with the wife and then I can go yep. fishing again tomorrow. I know. As I said, <laughs> I was like, mate, you have been doing so much fishing. We need to dedicate a day to exploring because so here it is. once he goes fishing, the day's nearly gone. I know. What so a anyway, average dinner though. I have to get him in line, fish. you know. Fish. Yeah, I know we've got fish and everything. All right, let's go. What do you say? Giddy up. Giddy up. I'm getting used to that now. Yes. Giddy up. There you go, mate. We've made it to Memorial. There's a little track here. This is the campground. If you just spin it around, big sort of open area. One fire pit and a table in the middle, and a walking track down to the um, swimming hole. So I'll take you down there for a look, eh? Oh. You are actually kidding, are you? Have a look at this, mate. This is Memorial Park. Oh, wow. That's not even the good bit. Wait for this. I'll spin the camera around and check it. What? This is out of control, mate. Have a look. <laughs> oh, the color of that water is just epic, mate. And it's literally like 40 meters from the car park. There's rapids, a little pool there. Oh man, this is insane. All right, I'm going for a swim. Place, mate. Oh my god, spectacular. <laughs> How crazy so is awesome. it? I want to see you jump off that rock there, that's what I want to no, see. No, I don't know. I would normally, if there was locals here doing it, 100% I'd do it. But... We're a little bit worried that there's crocodiles down there. I don't, I don't think there would be. There would be. I'm going to get in here. Right. I want to go in <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just 
going around, mate. That is so nice in there. Have a look at this. We're in the waterfall, right? Oh, there's the big swimming hole down that way. But uh, have a look back here. There's a cave in there. I'll take you up in there and show you the kids. You ready? You coming in? It's sick. You can't hear anything, but. What do you reckon of that place, Rue? It was sick. It was awesome, hey. I didn't expect it to be that good. That was really, really awesome. One of the best swimming holes and waterfalls like a little cave as I've well. seen. Yeah, and the kids found a little cave. That was I epic. It. I got pretty excited about that. Dad, Dad just went in. Well, there was like a little waterfall where you can't see to get in. Yeah. But then Billy pushed his hand there, and then the water stopped, and we saw a little cave. It's good, wasn't it? That, anyway, yeah, this is the campground. So you got like yeah, um, table. Fire pit, plenty of room to set up your tent. Only one side available to book. Uh, we're just gonna sit here and make some lunch before we move on. How do you reckon about that? Oh, love it here. Beck loved that one. Yeah. I really loved it. I did, I tried to book this, eh? I jumped on, but it was yeah. all booked out. It would have been really nice oh. to sit out here. You'd have an awesome night. Yeah, it's beautiful. you have a swim whenever you want, wander down there, That's have a, a fire point. going, cook some nice meals. That would have been good. Anyway, I'm glad we've seen it, and I'm glad we got to show you guys, because that, Honestly, that's up there with one of the best ones around the country. Yeah, and it's about an hour from the boat club. Yeah, so good day trip. Cool. It is. All right, bit of lunch, and then um, where are we going next? Scout camp. Yeah. Which is another swimming hole, I think. Oh, there you go. There's even a rope swing there. Look at that. Oh, oh. oh look out! You're gonna hit the. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you how a pro gets on it. A pro. Oh, giddy up, Tarzan. Yeah, stand up. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. I like how stand up. That's so cool, Bill. Righto, here's a bit of info for you. If you come right down to the end where the very end campsites are at Scout Camp, there's a wicked little water hole down in here that you can go and swim in. And I'll spin you around and check this out. It's like this mad little waterfall. Yes. It's so good, mate, eh? Ah, oh, water temp sick. Shallow, it's like less than a metre deep. And there's a rope swing. <laughs> Not that the kids can let go, because they'll end up breaking their feet, I reckon. It's only about a foot deep there on the rocks, but it is a beautiful spot. And the last two campsites are literally like 30 metres walk just up the road there. So nice, mate. There you go. Make another one to put on your list. Scout camp. I did my little mission with the kids. We missed a few spots that I wanted to show you out here in the Dimaru Recreation Area. Dalywood Bay is one of them. We've come out for another mission because Beck wanted to see little Bondi and stuff. So I'll show you Dalywood and Turtle Beach today. This one is Dalywood. This is coming into the campground. How nice does this look, mate? This would be perfect if you got a tinny. Now, one thing to remember though is that um, you cannot, Beck. On Maria, you cannot bring caravans out to these areas, so you have to have camper trailers or rooftoppers. But check it out, this would be meant, mate, to put your tinny in. Wow, wee. This is so good. 
<laughs> There's the camping area there. And then look at this. Deep water access for your tinny. Straight out the mouth. Oh man. That is just beautiful. I Have a wish look. we could swim here. <laughs> Window down. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh how epic is that mate? I really like that. Mate, I reckon that'd be, we could um, swim in the clip of stuff. That'd be me if I could have me tinny here for a bit. It's out of the wind too, so even if you get pumped by the wind on the other side, you could go crabbing and fishing up these creeks here. So there you go, that's Dallywoy Bay. How bloody nice is that? Mm. one we need to show you is Turtle Beach so this is the campsite here at the very end swing out the front here and have a look back and then the beach is right there so there is uh, three or four campsites like this just scattered in the bush just back from the beach so if it is super horrible weather this is probably the spot you want to come because it's nice and protected you get a little fire pit a bit of shade there's a rope swing in that tree and then put your window down there's your beach access right there Phew. beautiful that's pretty nice, eh? Yeah, that is lovely. Get your own private beach. All right, let's get out and have a look. This is the best site at the end here, if you can get that one. It is site number two, mate. It's a cracker. And then here is the beach trail, look. <laughs> ah, I'd much rather come down here. I feel a little bit safer from crocodiles being up the hill a bit and tucked away in the bush there. Ah, that'd be nice to have a campfire up there and know you can just swing down here and sit on the beach. Have a quick dip, go for a fish. Pretty nice, eh? Check it. Ah. Mate, pretty special place up here. There is a walking trail out here, so you can walk between the beaches. So this one, you can walk from Turtle Beach to Little Bondi, or you can walk the other way around from um, Turtle Beach to Garanan, which I think is Mackeson's maybe. But it's two and a half k's to go that way, or one and a half k's to go that way. There's a good map here and you can um, pick up some bush tucker and stuff along the way. I know um, we've got plenty of people that watch us that like hiking and, and bushwalking, so there you go. You could camp here, do a bit of a loop, up and back, be good times, eh? Sad day today. Tinny's going back on the roof. But I'm feeling kind of Mexican. Arriba! Cheers, mate. Hey, that brings us to the end of our Arnhem Land adventure. We really hope you've bloody enjoyed that one I know we have we've spent well probably close to six weeks up here by the time we've left and yeah. I'll tell you you really need in our opinion probably at least three or four weeks to make the most of getting up here and exploring everything because you need a few down days you need a couple of days up your sleeve for weather it's and you so um, adventurous up here oh mate you can do yeah. as little or as much as you want mm. um, and we've done both so it which just hence the six weeks a lot of fishing <laughs> mate a if you lot. if you have a rooftop tinny you need to bring it to go mate <laughs> oh my god anyway what a way to finish this episode and this adventure we're on a beach facing west watching the sun go down oh. and it's only five minutes from the boat club mate there's so many little hidden gems up here you just got to get out and explore every day and, of and course, you'll find them 
We're eating fish. We're eating fish, mate. Fish wraps for dinner. So we're gonna leave you with a bit of overlay, sunset, fire, fish wraps on the beach, and I'll find a cool track, a bit of music to suit our Arnhem Land travels and to fade off into the sunset, hey? <laughs> All right, cheers, guys. Cheers to you. Cheers to me. Cheers to you. I bloody love it up here, eh? Gonna live like this no more Most of my life's been waging war Till I found peace I could've swore What she did shook me to the core And I ain't gonna live like that no Like this no more trouble comes when the barmaid pours another four man should have found the door. 